Hey, what's up? Guys and girls, I have a new figure. So I just want to show it to you guys. It is called Deathlock. And uh, I, I like this figure. Um, the way it looks is amazing. This is the box. And um, here's the back. And it's an awesome looking figure. So it's part of the Sasquatch Wave. Um, I do have the cable figure already. And I'm gonna get the Domino figure because she's an X-Men and the X-22 because she's an X-Men. I had to get Deathlock, he's not an X-Men, but, well actually, I need to get one Deadpool, but I'm not, a, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Deadpool, so I just need one. I think I'll just get this guy right here. The one in red, the classic, the classics one from. I think they call him from the '90s version. So I don't know. Too, I'm not too sure, but I definitely like this one. So, <clears throat> so far, I'll, I'll probably end up building the Sasquatch, which is this right here. And um, it's just a great-looking figure, man. It's like I've seen him in the comic books and. I don't know much about him. The character, he's like a cyborg. He's like a Terminator. And they make a lot, a lot of copies of him. And um, there's squadrons of him sometimes. And uh, I have a comic book where he fights uh, Wolverine, Captain America, and Spider-Man. And uh, he's just a really cool looking character. He's like a Terminator. And... Um, they did a really good job making this figure. You can see the, the detail on the gun, the face. It's just um, really, really nice. The backpack. And this thing right here is so cool. Like um, he has a removable Holes right here and um, I was thinking maybe I, I want to get more of him but I don't know because I don't think I'll be able to get more of, of the same figure but it'll be really cool if I could uh, get another one so I can paint this one I'll give it a black wash right here on the chrome parts black wash and then paint the, um, the leather the brown leather parts and give it like a two three layer paint job uh, dry brush That'll be really nice. It'll look really nice, like real leather. And um, actually, I don't know how to paint the uh, flesh, flesh um, zombie. Never done that, so I don't know. I'll probably mess it up. But I could paint this metallic part really nice with some um, shadowy black um, paints. So, but, and then also right here, like all this red. If you put some darks in the cracks with some oils, it, it will look like he was airbrushed. And then you could do like a lot of detail on all these little parts right here. A lot of detail work. And so he should look even more better, but he looks amazing the way he is already. So the gun is so cool. Look at that. And it looks so nice like uh, i was thinking of painting it but i was like man but it looks nice like the way it is because if you paint it on um, black and then chrome and dry brush it you'll see more detail so but it just looks so nice um so definitely if, I, if i'm able to get another one i'll definitely do a a painted version i feel i feel the same way about cable like i would like to do some upgrades on him but I just don't want to mess up the one I have. So when I get a chance, um, I'll, I'll definitely do that. And um, he comes with this gun, but I don't, I don't really like this gun. It's like a Gatling gun. And it brings a ammo belt right here. Um, he has good articulation. Look at that, he has a good ab crunch. Uh, waist swivel right here. He has a uh, double elbow right here hinge at the hands 
his head can turn this way, that way, he can turn up about, about that much. About that much, he can look down pretty good. Actually, he can look down pretty better than down, than better than up. Um, this little cool thing pops up, so you can take it off and put it back inside, which is kind of cool. It has really nice detail. There's really nice detail everywhere. As his foot um, can go that high. He has a swivel right here, a good knee joint that turns that far, and he has the really good rockers, so you can put him in any pose. He's really poseable. Um, his uh, gun hand has a joint. His gun hand has the joint this way, while the other hand has a normal joint out this way. And his backpack comes off. And um, they even sculpted the back right here, so it looks really nice. So it's, overall, it's really nice. I think they're using ZBrush to make these uh, figures because um, the way they're making them is so nice and so detailed. And then they it looks like they just cut into the plastic. Like when, when I've seen them cut into the, to make a joint system. I just have a really strong feeling that they're using computers on ZBrush to make these. Um, especially like when you see the backpack here, you see the detail on it. And then the cut is not very precise. It's like they were cutting clay. And, and when you see that something is really detailed and it, it looks like it was cut like if it was a clay cut, like not uneven cut. That usually means that, um, well, to my opinion, that it's um, ZBrush, because you can do these cuts in um, the computer. Because like, ZBrush is like a really cool modeling program. It's, it feels like you're modeling with clay, but it's really the computer um, 3D. So it, I think I think they're just using that, and that's why they're able to put so much detail uh, on these on these parts. You know, like perfect symmetry like you see the, the perfect symmetry on these that's um that's because they did that with the computer uh, so I have a strong feeling that they're using um, 3d modeling guys to do this these uh, or, or, or mix because I saw I saw that they were using um, they're using cable uh, the guy that was making cable, he, he did the head and he did some other parts, but he didn't do the body. So I think, and he was doing, uh, he was uh, modeling with, um, not, not, you know, traditional stuff, not computers. So they're using both things. They're using computer people who can model in computers. And they're also using guys who model traditionally. So it's kind of cool because you get the best of both worlds, I guess. Um yeah but that's just me assuming i don't know i don't know exactly what they're doing so so this is a great figure deathlock he's kind of like a zombie and a terminator type as yeah, so from marvels and i just want to share share um <clears throat> What a great figure this is. I wish, I, I, I hope I can get more of these. Maybe have two more. But that's like stretching it. But um, it's just a great figure, man. All the detail and I'm really tempted to paint it. So I might actually get another one actually. So maybe I'll have one like this and then one that I'll actually uh, do some work on and see if it, if, if it if I can make it even look better. So, oh, he has a holster right here too. Right here in the gun fits really nicely. Let's see, let me take it out. Right there. So very cool. This uh, hose is attached to this right here, but this thing here doesn't come off. It's attached to the belt. And um, yeah, 
I don't know how the belt comes off, but there must be some way of just, you know, taking it off. So this is a really, really, really nice figure. So try to get it. And um, yeah, guys. Deathlock, Marvel Legends. Marvel Legends are rocking. So definitely check it out. And um, yeah, I think I showed you this already. I mean, it's nice, but I don't know. It's just like, it's like that big gun that came with cable. It's like, it's kind of useless. It looks like chunky and there's almost like, this shouldn't, like this gun is really nice because it has a lot of detail, you see? Has a lot of detail, they're intricate, intricate, and then this thing, these things are making, they're like chunky, like chunky, and there's like no detail, like it's almost minimal, like it's kind of like they just threw it in there. So I don't know. So that's what they, that's what they did with Cable. Cable has this big giant gun, but um, if you really want it to look good, you, you're gonna have to like customize it, and um. Yeah. <laughs> Deathlock. So check out check him out in the comic books. He's really cool. And get the figure. Alright guys. Laters.